Hello YouTubers, Hemitech here, and today we are going to have a demonstration on this Ultra Bass Pro Digital Subharmonic Bass Processor Model EX1200. It's a Behringer. Let me get you over here with the logo. It's a Behringer. Okay. And this unit uh, is something I got from eBay, and it's a pretty fancy little unit. It's got knobs upon knobs. I mean, it's got frequency, it's got dynamic punch, it's got subharmonics, bass mode, uh, bass level, limiter, and threshold, and crossover point, ultra bass, satellite level, and then the power on off switch. And what I'm going to do today is, you see, this unit is, is, a, is out of the rack right now. I've got it out of the rack. So I'm going to replace this in the place where I've got the DBX120 XDS, which is also a subharmonic synthesizer. So I'm going to compare. Well, I won't really be able to compare because I won't have them both hooked up at the same time. But I'm going to hook up the Ultra Bass Pro, and we're going to run through some of the functions and see what it does. Okay? Welcome back, and as you can see now, I have replaced the DBX120 with the Behringer EX1200 in my digitizing rack. And I've got my camera set up here so we can slide across the front and look at all the different dials and what they do. And right now we're looking at the one that's labeled Frequency, Okay, and that one will select the frequency at which you want it to start creating subharmonics. Okay, so I've got it set kind of to the left of the center, so that's about 115 hertz. That means I'm, my subharmonics are going to start at around 57 cycles, so I'll start making 57 and below. Okay, and then the, uh, the next knob is... Uh, indicated as dynamic punch and essentially what that is is that's the volume control for the subharmonics so we're going to leave that all the way up and then there's this switch here called low and ultra low if you leave it in the low position which is what I've got it now it creates first order subharmonics okay so a 120 hertz subharmonic would be 60 hertz so if you put it in the ultra low, it creates a second order subharmonic. Uh, so a, at 120, you would have a 30 hertz subharmonic created, okay? So I'm going to leave it in low instead of ultra low because I don't want to have that bass too deep that your speakers won't be able to hear. So anyway, and then this bass mode here, this, uh, they have two sides. This one is ultra low. And the other side says punch. Okay, and I'm going to show you what that does. It's, uh, it, it kind of adds frequencies into it. And then the bass level knob, that is just what it says. It's bass level. It turns up the bass. Okay, all the bass, the subharmonics, everything. And then this bass limiter section, uh, that's if you've got yourself hooked up to a big amp and subwoofers. And you don't want to blow out your subwoofers with this extra bass you're getting. So you turn on the, sub, the, the limiter and you can dial it in so that your subwoofers just get the right amount of bass and don't get, you know, whacked up. Um, since I don't have any subwoofers in my digitizing rack, I don't have this turned on at all. Okay. And then on the output stage here, the satellite section, this is interesting because this dial here controls the amount of uh, sound going to your satellite speakers and also mixes the subharmonics. And you'll see what that does when I turn it in the demonstration here. So I'm going to go back to this side here. Okay, over to this side, and I'm going to play a song I wrote, and it has some bass in it, and you'll be able to see the lights activating and hearing the bass. So here's the song now.
Now see what happened here. I turned on this satellite level and all you're hearing is the bass. All you're hearing is the bass that's being uh, generated by the subharmonics and the, the bass section. So I'm going to leave this turned down so all you'll hear is the bass. And now I'm going to adjust these others. And you see the one that says dynamic punch. I'm going to turn it all the way down. And you see that gets rid of your subharmonics and pretty much the bass too. So I'm going to turn that all the way back up. And now you can hear the bass in the background there. And now this ultra low punch, I'm going to turn it up and you can hear the frequencies it adds. It adds like upper octave bass. So you hear that and they say this side is the punchy side and the other side is just the bass. So I just want to have the bass. I'm going to leave that side that way. Okay. And then the bass level, of course, no bass. Turn it down. There's no bass. So back up to that. And now we're going to add the satellite level back in. And there we are. And there you go. That's my demonstration of the Behringer EX1200 subharmonic synthesizer. And I put it in the digitizing rack so we could uh, hear it uh, play some music and hear its effect. So uh, until next time, hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you later.